Yo, what's up guys, it's Skills, and today's video got you back with another Grand Cross video. Now, this is going to be about all of the anniversary stuff that is coming out soon to JP version. Shout out to GC Database, a huge, huge shout out to her because uh, she did all of this translation and it did take a lot. So I definitely need you guys to check out her uh, Twitter and her actual website and just give her a lot of love on Twitter because this is insane. Like she literally did everything. So shout out to her. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, we're basically going to be going through all of the patch notes and just going to talk about all this stuff here. So first thing is there's going to be an Annie Grand Fest Hawk Pass. So you can get an actual Hawk Pass uh, like in the normal way. But there's going to be a lot of good missions in here. Really good rewards and so on and so on. So the normal one is free. The special one's going to be like $10, I believe. I think that's 980 yen. That's what that should be. So you can get that from there as well. You can get new stamps if you want to, as well as a part two ticket. If you want to pay that, it's up to you. I, I don't know. It's up to you for that part. So the Hawk Pass rewards are right here. You can pause the video if you guys want to pause it, and then you can continue on uh, watching the video. But uh, you're basically going to be uh, getting a part two ticket for twice, actually. That's actually really good. So... I think this might be one of the best hawk passes in a while uh, because you also get a star pendants, gold, horns, anvils. Yeah, this might be a very good hawk pass, especially because of those part two tickets. So definitely grab that if you possibly can. And then uh, the weak points, obviously, is the normal special and stuff like that for those points. So now you also have a hawk roulette. So this roulette right here is going to be able to let you get special rewards as well. And it seems like there's going to be a captain hawk for an SSR that will be able to be gotten from this as well. So a hawk unit is gonna be amazing you know this you always thought that hawk was amazing but uh, obviously he's like terrible in the show but uh, we'll see how he go he handles in the game so we'll definitely do showcase for that as well but there's a lot of special rewards here you can pause the video like I said and see what uh, is gonna be on here because I don't want to break down all these but it's really too much honestly but there's gonna be a lot of good rewards from here so definitely look into this if you guys want to do that from the rewards grind out all that as quickly as possible and you should be good Chapter 13 update, so meaning more more gems, more story to play, harder stuff that's going to happen, so you definitely need to start grinding out your accounts more because there's going to be a lot coming along with this. And then with chapter 13 update, there's a new boss battle that they're going to be doing, I guess. That's what they're going to be calling it. It's the same kind of thing as if you saw the Exodia looking guy that uh, was created by the original character or creator of the show. He's also making an, a new version as well. A newer uh, boss battle which is gonna be this and then this Meliodas right here it's going to be a costume this Meliodas costume you can get as well it's gonna be a reward that you can get so it's gonna be really cool and it can work with any of the Meliodas in the game so uh, it's gonna be really nice to see when we get to that point but this right here it's called Marlix will earn you fragments of broken sword and those are the things that you can use in the exchange shop and that's where you're gonna be able to get a lot of uh, you know rewards like uh, SSR chests and stuff like that so you'll be able to earn a Meliodas outfit that will be wearable by all Meliodas in game after 25 clears. The event has a clear limit of 5 times a day, so f just do it 5 times, you're going to do that in 5 days. And you will use 4 main units in the team, so you cannot use any friend teams, it's, or friend units, it's just you. So you can see right here, once this bar goes all the way up, you get a UR Meli clothing, which should be really, really cool. We'll definitely check that out as well. You get SSR pendants, I think like 3 uh, gems, and then 3 SR pendants, and then uh, 3 chests. Uh, yeah, so three, five, oh, five SSR pendants. Yeah, five SSR pendants, okay. And then you have, uh, exchange shop, which is going to be SSR Hawk available for exchange, so that's where you can get the actual, uh, Hawk itself, so good new character from there as well. And you can do the exchange there, that's how he looks, so he looks like a reindeer with, I don't know what that clothing is, but that looks like Christmas, <laughs> Christmas clothing. Alright, so these are all the rewards you can get from the exchange. Exchange materials right here, fragments from here are all the things that you'll get from uh, clearing all these uh, stages. And then the max will be all of these max. And you can get such a chest, wings, ears, horns. You can also get the chalices as well as uh, books and uh, the evolution potions as well. And then hawk as well from there. Uh, the growth as well. So this is where you can salvage up all your gear because you need to get five star crystals. Salvage that at, as soon as possible. Grind all your SSR gear and then give them uh, that, that actual gear to uh, DM. Then you also have the enhanced potions so you can actually level up your units from there as well. So do that as well. And then you have uh, patrol skip tickets drop times two. I guess that's that's good for uh, drop tickets because you, you can use those uh, as well. So the next thing will be the any missions. So if you do all these missions, you'll get another. I guess you can get another hawk. So you can get dupes of him it seems like. 
if you do these so you can definitely get that from there and then cool thing is during this event clearing the missions all, i guess all these missions will allow you to fully awaken a unit of your choice you will need to use the full awakening item before the 29th of july so then you can actually awaken a unit full six star by just doing this from here so you can get that for free if you do all of these missions it seems like so that's really cool actually you should definitely work on this because this is actually going to be good for any of your units that you need to get 6 star really fast. So if you pull a new unit, it should work on this. If not, I'm not too sure, but it should work on any of the units that you really need to. So it's only going to be once though. So definitely do that on the unit you want to work on. Uh, the next thing is going to be spawning death matches. So this is a 100% drop on one turn. So if you play one match, you're going to get the 100% drop. And this is, should be for the whole time frame of the actual uh, event. So that's going to be really good as well. Uh, also, they're giving you 30 free spots as well for your storage and the, the expan its expansion went to 500 It used to be 400 so more space is really good for us as well instead of having to spend our gems to get more space So then chapter 13 update and then new two characters So this I'll actually break down by itself specifically because it's it's gonna take too much time to break this down right here But uh, there's also a new Elizabeth as well as the new hawk that will be coming out So definitely look forward to that. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. So right here this is the new gotcha questionnaire gotcha, I guess. So right here, if you see, there's going to be a, uh, a banner, I guess, or a Grand Fest questionnaire ticket that you can get one times one or three di diamonds a single, uh, or you can do 10, 10 or 30 diamonds for a multi. And then there's a questionnaire obtainable location one and two. The lineup is going to be Demon Melly, or not Demon Melly, Lost Mean Melly, and this this Elizabeth right here. And the popular votive characters are right here as well. So there's going to be a mileage. So like you get normally rewards, you know, SSR pendants, uh, five star chalices, anvils. This is going to be characters. So I guess if you use 300 gems, you can get an additional SSR hero. One random SSR hero from the current lineup will be granted in addition. So I'm not sure if they're going to be doing it based off these units or if they're going to be doing it on the popular units. But if it makes sense, it should be only the lineup units right here. Uh, I could be I could be wrong though. But then if you do 600, you get an additional one, right? So that's basically two right there. And then if you do 900 gems, you can choose one out of the two characters right here. So Lost Vane or, Meli or, or Elizabeth. So you can technically get three of the same characters, I'm assuming. If that's how that's going to go, then that's actually really good because you can max out uh, Lost Vane Meliodas if you really wanted to. Uh, but 900 gems, that's kind of crazy, especially when Anniversary is here. This is even, I don't think this is the actual Anniversary banner, so I wouldn't really go too crazy on this banner anyway. I think, I don't even think this is worth summoning for if you are trying to save for the Anniversary uh, summons, because those should be really, really good as well. So... But if you don't have Lost Vane Meliodas and you want to try for him, I would recommend that because this Meliodas is probably one of the best units in the game right now, uh, just because of how this character works. So um, I would say probably do like maybe three or four multis and see how that goes. If you go too deep, then I would not, I would not summon that much uh, for this manner. But basically, the, once it hits 900, it'll reset back to one, so you can earn all these rewards again. So essentially, you can get uh, Meliodas maxed out for 1,500 gems. That's basically what it is because you can get two here, three here, and then go back to two here because it says 600 plus 900 is 1500 gems you can get to max out Meliodas, which is really cool as well. And then uh, you, I guess if you do this, you can get one more copy of Lost Free Meli, so on and so on. You get fast full coins. Okay, so you can max them out for 1500 gems. Uh, new costumes added for Elizabeth, so really good that you'll see her uh, getting in, uh, new costumes as well. You can get these package uh, packs as well, so you can get more tickets as well as gems. Uh, but that's not probably worth the pricing because that's probably like, I don't know, $50 maybe? Maybe. I'm not too sure exactly on the pricing with yen, but still, that's a lot of money. So don't go too crazy with your with your purchases because we might get a lot of stuff coming out soon to uh, the anniversary part, the actual anniversary banners most likely. Then you have BOGOs, so you can get more diamonds for half, uh, you know, free basically. So you buy one, get one. So if you're spending $80 to get 102 gems, you're gonna get 204 gems with that for $80. As well as the new appearances, as well as so some changes, you'll get uh, a new addition to adding how Boar Hat uh, for Hawk looks in the actual main of the world map, so that's cool as well. You also have the registering favorite characters. You can actually level uh, put them as favorite characters and they'll be on the top of your list so you can look at them much easier. So I guess that's a step of how you can make your character look, uh, your box look much better and easier to understand. Patrol missions added, there'll be new patrol missions for chapter 10, 11, and 12. Regular patrol functions, there'll be more that you can do here as well so you can get more rewards. And then as well as gotcha rate display will be uh, displayed up to four decimal places. Okay. Um, 
and then deathmatch invitation changes they're gonna be changing all this stuff as well so it's easier to understand and then you cook a dish changes you'll be able to immediately max the number of dish cookable so it seems like you can just instantly max it once you got this done so that's really good as well and then system chat changes they're gonna be changing a couple things here if you want to pause the video here you can do that and then just see what they're doing and as well as overall cc buffs are added now so you can see that you're gonna get more cc buff based on how much you have in your full box itself which is really good as well because CC buffs are very helpful because if you're going to be playing uh, PvP and stuff like that, I, I, I'm pretty sure that should help you for your uh, your buffs as well. So that's really cool. Other bug fixes and stuff like that. So keep in mind, you can pause the video anytime you want to so you can read this much better. But that's basically all it is for coming out here. But for this banner, I'm probably going to do an actual video on it to break it down even more and talk about this because realistically, 1500 gems is a lot. Of gems if unless you've been saving forever but that's also a lot to, uh, to like pay money for as well so if you have some multis in you you can do some multis and hope to pull lost vein melee if that's how the banner should be set up but i would not spend 1500 gems to max out lost vein melee that like that's just crazy just because the the new units that should be coming out for the actual anniversary i think it makes sense to actually get I don't know some crazy unit that's gonna be more hyped than this realistically but we'll see i don't know if this is the actual banner 100 percent but this is still something for the anniversary so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy i'll break down these two units once i make an actual video for it and see if they're gonna be worth it for the units themselves but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy if you guys are excited for all this stuff let me know in the comments below jp players i know there's not probably a lot of you on the channel but i know uh, a lot of players are on global but if you guys want to play you know jp you definitely should start right now because this might be the best time to re-roll for all these new units that are coming out as well so hopefully you guys are excited let me know in the comments below and then yeah we'll check out all this stuff once it all drops and that's that's it for today's video have a great day guys